Welcome back. So you have just spent time writing down your whys uh, or the reasons that you're committing to going alcohol free. Uh, Put that in a safe place. That's something that you will uh, reference uh, today, tomorrow, uh, and hopefully years down the line to remind you uh, of the reason uh, or the multitude of reasons why you decided to make a big change in your life. Um, so thank you for doing that. Such an important step. Um, next, we're going to talk about the fundamentals for success. Uh, this really is your toolkit. Uh, no uh, one of these things on their own uh, is going to be the, the magic thing uh, to make you change your habits and behaviors, but instead uh, it'll be a, a number of different items uh, that you can use um, in concert to help you make such an important change. And it's worth it. I, I, I should say that over and over throughout this course that uh, it's going to take time, it's going to take effort, uh, but the changes that you're going to see uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, uh, with the people around you, it's so worth it. Um, so without further ado, I'll just go down the list of uh, some of the tools that we'll cover, uh, and then we'll spend time going into each one in more detail. So. First, um, building community uh, and having someone to talk to. Um, Hangover Free Me has a community on Facebook, the Hangover Free Me Society. Uh, So step one, please join that. Um, It's a place where you can be open about your struggles, open about your successes, hear from others uh, about their own experience, and just a safe place uh, where you can come together with like-minded people. who will be at different stages in their journey of changing their relationship with alcohol. But um, this is intended to be a place where you can really take inspiration and support one another. Um, Next, another really important step, similar to writing down your whys, uh, will be keeping a journal. It's not something that I ever did uh, in life, but I was given this advice early in my journey, uh, and it was a great way to document um, how you're feeling uh, and all the different changes uh, that have uh, taken place throughout the the journey. I still read back to the early days of my journal. I'll tell some stories about uh, Bruce Springsteen (laughs) and glory days too, uh, something that I keep going back to in my journal. Um, So number one, join the Hangover Free Me Society on Facebook. Uh, there'll be a link in there. Um, the uh, journaling is so important. That's the next step. Uh, and then document your starting point. So a couple examples. Um, write down your starting weight if uh changing your weight or losing weight is one of your goals. Uh, Write down your your resting heart rate. Uh, I'll go into more detail. Um, uh, Next, find a healthy physical alternative uh, or a physical hobby, a physical distraction, a physical goal um, to help you uh, fill some of the downtime. At first, you might feel bored. So we're going to give you some good physical uh, replacement. And finally, we'll talk about cravings. Uh, Cravings are a real thing. Uh, They're something that sneak up on you when you least expect it. Uh, So we're going to talk about different tools, uh, different methods for uh, dealing with cravings. Uh, Without further ado, let's get into some of the details. Mm -hmm.